Hey folks, and thanks for joining me. Grab yourself a piece of paper, a ruler, pen, or pencil, and a basic calculator. And uh, we can uh, quickly identify the uh, capacitor value that we need to uh, act as a voltage dropper for these old um, vintage radios or alike that use a, a resistive line cord and or a, a ballast tube in the case of the uh, receiver that I'm working on right now. So let's get started. First thing to uh, denote, I'm going to use a, a metric rule. One millimeter equals one volt. Again, all I'm going to do is take a, a vertical line on the uh, paper, a horizontal line. You can see they're 90 degrees apart. Uh, the reason for that, again, the uh, capacitor itself voltage would be 90 degrees out of phase with the uh, 120 volt uh, line voltage. So looking at my particular receiver, 75.2 volts across the uh, tubes that are in place, including that dial lamp. Again, all rated at uh, 300 milliamps less the uh, dial lamp itself, but I'll add a shunt to increase the uh, amperage to 0.3. I'll expand on that when I get to that point. Using my uh, metric ruler, I'll measure from the intersection point here over to the right, 75 uh, millimeters. That's our cross point here, so that'll be my start point. And in my case, 120 volt line voltage is what I'm using for this example. Again, it may be higher, may be lower. I'll draw this slanted line, 120 millimeters, starting here until it intersects my uh, vertical line up here. And then I'll measure the uh, distance between this point and this point. And that comes out to 94 millimeters, which equals 94 volts. Divide that by the current of 0.3 amps. It gives me roughly 313 ohms for the capacitive reactants. I can take that information to calculate the capacitor needed. Again, in microfarads, 1 million divided by 377. I'll come back to that in just a moment. That's a fixed number times the 313 for XC. And again, I need a capacitor roughly at 8.47 microfarads. Again, I mentioned that number was static, the 377. That's nothing more than 377 is equal to 2 times pi times 60 hertz. And again, if I were in a 50 hertz power grid, I would substitute 314, 2 times pi times 50 hertz. There's a little rounding there, but that's no biggie because, again, the tolerance for the capacitor is going to vary, plus or minus 5% uh, or even more. In addition, the uh, input line voltages will vary as well. So again, I'm just calling it kind of an old school method and procedure, but it illustrates, again, the out of phase relationship between the uh, line voltage and the uh, voltage itself passing through the uh, capacitor. How to simply do the math, keep it simple and basic, and come up with the uh, calculated numbers that you need, uh, plus or minus just a bit. Hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.